So let's take a walk through Shaw's. Now, normally I don't stop at the shop at this uh, supermarket chain. And why is that? Well, I'm a couple miles on either side of me next to Hannaford. So that's usually where I shop. Look at this garlic. Uh, just amazing how many things they have in grocery stores today. Something interesting, besides my finger getting in front of the camera, is that both these big chains, Hannaford and Shaw's, are not owned by an American company. They are owned by overseas companies. Bananas. Lots of bananas. We're eating a lot of bananas now, so basically if I go into a store, I buy a bunch. My wife likes them a little greener, so normally I try to pick ones that are green. Sometimes they don't have many that are that green. Sometimes they have different color lights over the bananas, which is kind of confusing because once you take them and put them in your cart, they change color. <laughs> melons, watermelons. But uh, someone was explaining in one of the comments what I liked was they were talking about shelflation. The idea that uh, one of the supply chain issues now is, look at all this uh, citrus. Uh, things are sitting, by the time they get to the shelf, the shelf life is kind of over. <laughs> so I've noticed, especially with strawberries and some other things, that you bring them home and you find that they're sp some are spoiled. And if you don't eat them right up that day, the rest of them are going to be spoiled. Uh, because it's just taking too long, I guess, to get to the store. But amazing amount of produce. You know, obviously the store is well stocked. This was a real deal. Uh, broccoli, only 97 cents. It was funny, I bought some at Market Basket. And then it was a dollar something, which was good because it had been around two dollars. But they had a huge amount of stock on it. This broccoli didn't have a lot of broccoli stock that I would basically be throwing away. So uh, we're going to get some of those. Uh, we've now uh, gone to a... Here's some uh, oyster mushrooms, but I'm not overly excited about them. It's nice that I see them there. We get the uh, some different types here loose mushrooms. Uh, here's some portobellas. I think I'm going to end up buying some of those. We'll see though. Uh, well, actually, I think I cleaned my lens off right then because it was so blurry. And now I'm looking at them again. But uh, I like mushrooms a lot. Uh, they're quite expensive. I, I usually forge for them. There's none this year. It's We're in a moderate drought here in Maine, so there's not much for uh, mushrooms at all. Hopefully the fall will be wetter and we'll be able to forage again. I'm thinking of set, setting up a little grow area so I can grow some mushrooms, which all you really need is some type of, you know, area or tent that you can set up so it can regulate the humidity and temperature. It's actually easier to do in cold weather then you're just heating to a certain degree. You don't have to worry about things getting too hot. But humidity, you can use one of these uh, mister type things they sell for uh, for the pet tray, for, you know, tropical animals like frogs and things like that. Aero dark frogs and things. Uh, but just look at all the stuff. Again, I'm in here with, it seems like I'm the only one in the store. There are other people, but uh, here's... Got hot dogs. We've got some different meats here. Uh, prosciutto. I haven't bought this before. I'm, I'm thinking about that. Someone told me they make a quiche Lorraine and then they put the prosciutto on the top after it's cooked and they blowtorch it to just kick, cook that thin layer of prosciutto, which is extremely thin. And it, they said it comes out really nice. So I'm going to have to give that a try. Here we keep usually at least one of these mac and cheese tubs. Uh, we, uh, my daughter actually makes mac and cheese that lives with us. That is really good in the Instapot and she puts broccoli in and some other spices. But we keep one of these meals in case. My w wife has a swallowing disorder. So if we get some food that 
doesn't agree with our, you know, we just get rid of the plate and we can heat that up and in four minutes uh, she can have something that she likes to eat. Uh, look at all the stuff. Sometimes I'm amazed at the variety we have. Be smart about your seafood. Responsible choice logos. Uh, and, you know, I was going to do something after this, so I couldn't buy anything frozen. But they had some nice, you know, I'm always looking for some deal on fish. You know, I'd like to eat more fish. Uh, and uh, which is more anti-inflammatory and stuff. And uh, this right here was frozen, so I couldn't get it. But I'm going to go back and get it. Waiting fillets, only $4 a pound. I've gotten the tilapia, a top, tilapia, is that right? I forgot how to say it, but that's a very unfishy tasting fish. Uh, it's usually raised. I don't know about that other one, but uh, I should eat more fish and it's just, it's expensive to do it. Unless you just get used to, which we all should, smaller portion size, less meat and more vegetables. Uh, I am definitely not a vegetarian or a vegan, but I do, in theory, <laughs> agree with the idea that we should be using eating less meat, but it, it uh, doesn't work out that way financially. It's usually very expensive to uh, uh, replace your protein with a fish protein. Uh, although now everything's just high. It's amazing that some items... Uh, I've seen that we're dollar, they've gone up to a dollar forty. Some have gone from a dollar to dollar sixty-seven. So I mean some items are having a huge price increase. I think they're saying overall that the prices for food has gone about ten percent high, but I'm seeing some items are like twenty percent high. Uh, we're gonna try this Truvia. My wife's on a diet. And this is a blend of real sugar and a stevia and some other things. And uh, I I got one and my wife is using it in her tea and it's working out fairly well. But she's managing to lose weight and I'm not. So I've got to get a little more serious about it. And uh, here's all the kitchen utensils. Different pans and pots. Oh, look at that. There's some shelf space empty. You can see that... The store isn't too bad for stocking. It's funny, I was at my regular Hannaford's today and I wanted paper plates and lo and behold, there were only like two packages left and one of them was the inexpensive coated plates like I like to buy, but they've gone up quite a bit too as well. Uh, so, uh, you know, as we see food prices continuing to go upwards, uh, we're going to have to figure out new strategies of how to save money with food. And that would probably mean like things like cutting out things like sodas. Soda, you know, it seems to me a Diet Coke for a liter of Diet Coke was under a buck. And now they have a big sign saying, there it is right there, two forty nine only. What? <laughs> it was only a buck a little while ago. You know, then it went up, went up, went up. And uh, so all of this section... None of this stuff. I, I really like Diet Coke. It's my favorite thing to drink. But none of this stuff is necessary at all. This is all just, uh, you're spending money on some flavoring in water uh, with sugar or an artificial sweetener. And it's the wrong pH, so it messes up your teeth and does all kinds of other nasty things to you. So I think it going to 269 a bottle is going to help me stop drinking it. But, you know, it means buying less prepared food, more food that you've got to cook from scratch. In other words, you know, you buy a rotisserie chicken, you compare that to a chicken uh, that you're going to do yourself. These are 10 foot long uh, cords. These don't seem badly priced at all. They look like they're sturdily made. Can never tell till you try them. Uh, if you have a device that fast charges like this 
I'm filming this on my Samsung A52 5G. I can do the faster charging. Some cords don't support it. And really, the, if the, they don't say on it whether they support it or not a lot of times, but I have this little uh, meter that I've showed on my some other videos where you plug in right to the, to the charger and to the cord, and you can watch and see if it bumps the voltage and amperage up to do the fast charging or not. Uh, and it, you do have to have the right charger, you have to have the right form, phone, phone, but you do have to have the right type of cord too. Some cords just won't let you do it. Milk, we're going for the half gallon, uh, 2%, save some fat. What baggy pants you have on, mister? Okay. Oh, there's a little empty space there. I've noticed two certain areas, there's some there, that what you see is all of the ex inexpensive brands are gone. The generic brands, sometimes like you'll go to the peanut butter and there'll only be the really premium expensive brands there. Uh, you know, sometimes that happens with breads too, where the, the store brand will be gone. As people, I think, are seeing this huge price increase, so they're shifting buying down to the generic brands. And, uh, you know, this is good, but in some ways uh, it's going to change the uh, makeup of what's available in supermarkets and what they're going to need to carry. I mean, if uh, people start leaving more expensive products on the shelves to you know, go bad, uh, the stores will just keep, will just stop carrying those eventually. But then again, on the other hand, if the only bread you can buy is the expensive bread, people are going to have to buy it. Unless they make it. Now I make rolls and I make uh, our pizza from scratch and things, but the, the regular bread for sandwiches, you kind of get used to the texture and the slice size and everything of, of bread that you buy. We never buy usually plain white bread. I, I do make plain white bread, but we never buy it. Uh, boy, am I droning on here if you haven't fallen asleep yet. Oh, I have sleep apnea and I'm starting to fall asleep place. You know, in the afternoon I'm doing something at the house and clunk, I clunk out, so... Not good. I finally got my new machine, and uh, last night it said it was good, but see, I'm tired today, I'll tell you. But all kinds of things. Sometimes I'm kind of surprised at the fixtures and everything, how expensive some of the things are. Sometimes I'll do an area over in it. Sometimes I'll look at it and say, do they really need to spend that money? Oh, there's fishes coming down from the the sky over there. Ceiling. Pulpuses or orco, orc, no. Uh, killer whales. Oh, uh, let's see, there's some flowers and things. Gift card, sodas, drinks, more drinks, more stuff. Hey, there's another person. This is slightly wide angle too, so it makes, put some distortion and you can see greeting cards and stuff like that. There's a lot of empty, the paper products, but this is summer, we have tourists, people are picnicking, although heaven help you if you're, and in this store I couldn't find any coated, I usually buy the inexpensive coated paper plates and they didn't have any, so I check another store the next day and I find them, but they had all these things, but they weren't, they weren't coated. So I just didn't want them. I mean, it adds a little to the cost, but then if you're, some foods, you just can't use a paper plate. We have these plastic things you put the paper plate in kind of, so it makes it rigid. So you don't have to worry about the plate bending or anything, but still, if you have food with a lot of moisture, uh, you either have to get, have a, 
coated plate, or even then, sometimes that won't work and you just have to go to your regular washable plates. Uh, one of the big jokes Jack Benny repair did a couple times was uh, his serviceman came to fix his dishwasher and he would say to Jack Benny that you can't wash paper plates. You know, and of course he had this, you know, his the character he created for uh, uh, the television was that he was extremely cheap and that he uh, played the violin really poorly. Well, he wasn't extremely cheap and he really could play the violin really well. I think I saw him play it only once on on TV. You know, this is later years or whatever, and he played it correctly, but uh, uh, that was just one of his gags. He was a master of timing. Here we have, oh yeah, look at this, graham crackers. The, 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 the no brand's only $1.39 at Hannaford's, and it looks like, look at all these are, that are missing, and they, I've got to go up to two forty nine even to get a, any kind of pack of them, which I ended up doing because my wife wanted some, so I'm going to get it. But uh, you can see me hemming and hawing about it because I just didn't think it, it should be that much higher. You know, different brands. I don't know if that's, you know, what that Shaw's generic brand is called. Uh, you know, but, well, we're finally getting near the end of the big shopping experience here. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little walk through. You get a medal, a badge of honor. If you get it, make it till the end of this video. But uh, it's nice to see kind of what's in different stores sometimes. And uh, I know some of the videos I've enjoyed watching from other countries are people looking in the 